the objective of this experiment is to measure the distance between the tracks of CD and DVD. Now we will look at some facts about CD and DVD. In this picture, we see that how the data is stored in the CD and DVD. CD and DVD is a popular storage media. CD and DVD has a capacity of data storage equivalent to 700 MB and 4.7 GB respectively. It is made up of polycarbonate layer with molded spiral tracks on the top. The data are stored on CD or DVD as a series minute grooves which are known as pits and coded on these spiral tracks. The areas between the pits are known as lines. CD player which is known as right laser. It has the capability to alter the surface of CD and DVD instead of just bouncing the laser light off. This is how the data is stored in series and DVDs. The apparatus required are Laser source, CD or DVD, 1 meter wooden ruler and stands. Now we have to set up the apparatus. A CD stand, a laser stand with a sufficient distance between them and have to put a sheet of paper just below the CD stand to mark the diffraction spots. After this, we will turn the lights off. After turning the lights off, we will switch on the laser light button. Here you can see, we have to bring all the three diffraction spots in line with the laser light. This is the side view of the apparatus. We have got three bright spots on the paper all in line. Now we will measure the distance between the diffraction spots. Now we will measure the distance between first two diffraction spots which is about 40 centimeters and we will also have to measure the distance of laser from the base which is about 55 centimeters. Now we will move towards the calculation part. So let's start. Now for the calculation, we have got distance between first two diffraction spots which is 40 centimeters, distance of laser beam from the base which is 55 centimeters and the laser beam we have used has a wavelength of 650 nanometers. Then by the formula d is equals to l into lambda by w, we have got the answer, which is 0.893 nm. Hence, the result, the spacing in DVD tracks comes out to be 0.893 nm. Thanks for watching the video.